Hello, my name is Cyrus Mystery, and I'm a group product manager on Chrome Enterprise. I'm really excited today to do a deep dive into the modern OS architecture that was built for the cloud. This is especially relevant right now, given the challenging times that we're in. You know, cloud-based technology, and we all know this, has changed how we work. It has meant that we can work securely from any device, any location, anytime. You can be on a tablet, a phone, a laptop, a desktop, and get to your work. You, you can collaborate with others in a really seamless way. This is something, for those of you that will remember, <laughs> you know, there was version 12 of the document and you'd send it out to eight people and they'd all give you different revisions and then you'd have to somehow merge them together or you'd have to say, you know, I'm only giving this to Julie right now and I'm gonna wait and then send it to the... But now, because it's in the cloud and there's a central place, you can all be collaborating at the same time. This has really fundamentally changed how fast we work and what happens in challenging times like we've been facing for the last several months, where working from home didn't all of a sudden mean you couldn't do anything. An enormous number of people could continue working if the applications were built from the for the cloud from the very beginning. At the same time, it's made life fun for IT departments. Um, how do I secure these endpoints? Um, what exactly are they accessing the cloud application from? Um, what's the user experience like? Are they able to get to everything? How does authentication and authorization work in this world? Um, do they have access to all the applications that they need for their work, right? Oh shoot, some are legacy applications. Maybe I should use Citrix or VMware to get it to them. Those types of things are what we're going to talk about today. And how can a modern operating system help you with that? So I have the benefit of, at the time, I think I'm now the longest running product manager on Chrome OS. I've been on the team since the founding team 10 years ago. Uh, and that's a long time since Chrome OS has been out there. The nice thing about Chrome OS being built 10 years ago versus 30 is we got to invent the operating system built for the new world. We got to build it for a cloud worker, whether they're user at home or whether they're at work or school. You know, if you look back at operating systems, you may wonder why exactly did Google come into the picture, right? Google is a search company. Why did they decide to build an operating system? Our goal is to give people the absolute best web experience that we can. We had started building great web applications, but then bandwidth was becoming a big problem, right? People just couldn't, they didn't have good enough bandwidth. And so we had a lot of work that we did worldwide to help improve bandwidth. We got that to a really good place. Now, again, bandwidth proliferation. There's still a lot of places that don't have great bandwidth, but it's definitely getting much better. So we had bandwidth and we had web applications, but then the browsers were just, they were, you know, you probably remember when multiple tabs came out and one of your tabs crashed and it would crash all the time. It would take down your entire browser or there would be pop-ups nonstop taking up your screen. And so we wanted to come up with a fat and they were slow. We wanted to come up with a fast browser that was secure, that, that was built on a modern web architecture. So now we, ha now we had a great web browsing experience. We had great web applications. We had much better bandwidth, but there was still one problem to get to that browser, and that's all people wanted to get to, to get to that browser, you had to boot your computer. And you'd boot it, and then you'd go out for breakfast, and you know, maybe 20 minutes later, you'd come back, and you know, there's some loud noises going on, and it was still doing something. You know, when we built Chrome OS, a lot of people don't realize this. The cheapest laptop at the time was $450. And the fastest booting laptop was one full minute. And now here enters an operating system that says we can boot in six seconds. And we are built in a completely fundamentally different way so that we can actually run on a $200 piece of hardware. A full-size laptop, not a netbook, right? A full-size laptop, full pitch. And so that's really what we did. And I'm going to go through and tell you some of the little uh, under-the-hood secrets of what's going on. What have we been up to over the last 10 years? 
is not just building this amazing operating system, but my team specifically, the Chrome Enterprise team, focuses on making sure that this works in enterprise environments, right? For schools, governments, businesses. For instance, you need some kind of admin console to manage what's going on on these devices, right? Every admin cares about two things, visibility and control. They need to see what's going on. They need to see how the devices are being used, which ones are having a problem. Can you lock it down with lost and stolen mode? We wanted to make sure you have the right device selection that you need. We wanted to have all kinds of different modes. For instance, you can turn a Chromebook into a sign. You can have a kiosk mode. You can have it be a managed guest session where you don't even need a login, right? There's no identity at all. You can just get straight to a, a website or uh, an application. We brought the entire mobile application ecosystem, the largest mobile application ecosystem in the world, to Chromebooks, and so on and so on. And so this is kind of, there's an entire team just focused on making sure this works phenomenally well in an enterprise setting. What we're going to go through now is what are all the benefits of a cloud native operating system for end users and what are the benefits for businesses? Let's go into end users. The first interesting thing is it's really, really fast to boot. Booting in six seconds is, is incredibly difficult to do uh, and making sure you don't regress over time, right? This is a six second boot is what we started with 10 years ago when we first unveiled a Chromebook and it is still there given everything else we do on a Chromebook. Making sure that you get up to 12 hours of battery life, that's enormous given laptop batteries used to last an hour or so. And having the full productive environment that you expect, having applications run seamlessly side by side next to a mobile application, next to 15 tabs running and multiple virtual desks so you can consolidate and coordinate your work. Talking about a little bit about what happens in those six seconds, it's actually interesting. The boot would be faster, but we take a few of those seconds every single time we boot to verify every single bit of the operating system. Right, for those of you that are security geeks out there, we have a root of trust burned into the hardware of every single Chromebook that is out there. And from that root of trust, we actually go and check every single level of the operating system to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with or hasn't become modified in any way. It may not even have been malicious, but if the operating system is not exactly what we expect, we not only don't boot you into that operating system, but we have a backup dormant operating system at all times that we just flip to, restart, and boot you into a clean new operating system while we are repairing the other operating system. This is an extremely unique and interesting characteristic of Chromebook. And it's something called verified boot, which means, imagine what this means. This means every single Chromebook that turns on on a Monday morning, you know that they're in a verified state, that those operating systems are clean. And it really is a really great feeling. The other thing that we did that is, I think, really, really unique to Chromebooks is we have the benefit of working directly with all of the major OEMs that are making Chromebooks. There are dozens and dozens of different models of Chromebooks, every range, like I mentioned, $200 Chromebooks, $1,500, super thin, super light, super high-end performance devices, styluses, touch convertibles, detachable, every type of device is there. But we made them adhere to Google's design requirements down to the reference design, the wiring schematics have to be approved by us. And this is so important because what we can do then, again, down to the hardware layer, what we can do if we have a fully vertic vertically integrated solution is we are able to centrally update every single Chromebook in the world from us directly. There's no intermediary. There's no images that are in some local place that I'm pushing out that can be modified. There's no OEMs modifying the OS image. They get No one gets any ability to modify an OS image except Google when we send it out. And that gives you the best of both worlds. If you think about a vertically integrated hardware software experience, there's only two other players that do that, but you're limited to a handful of devices that they have for you. Here, you get the benefits of a fully integrated solution 
but the benefits of the market competing against each other, all of the major OEMs playing with each other. So what that means is every single Chromebook you pick up, you know you're running the latest OS. You're not wondering what did this company have versus this. And when you boot that operating system, you know that there's going to be a bare minimum that you're going to make sure that it has that exact same keyboard, that it's not been modified to layout, that it has a front-facing camera. This means you kind of have this confidence level whenever you pick up a Chromebook on how it works, which is really, really interesting. And lastly, we've made sure that the enterprise um, features are there in these Chromebooks, like cloud telemetry, uh, so that you can supportability of these Chromebooks, uh, all of the types of things that the OEMs want, so you can get a packaged enterprise OS with the device, all of those types of things. There's another really interesting point, which is this untethered access. No matter what Chromebook you pick up in the world, right? you get the benefits of Chromebooks are stateless. A lot of people ask, do they even have hard drives? Well, they have to have hard drives so you can work offline if you need to, and et cetera. But they are much more stateless, which means, generally speaking, the data is probably not going to be on that device, which is great. You know, you leave it in a taxi. Yeah, you've unfortunately lost the hardware, but you don't have that sickening feeling of, oh, gosh, what are they getting access to, right? 100% of the data on every Chromebook anywhere user data is encrypted. So, but most likely, it's not even on the local device. And that big benefit means you can pick up any Chromebook and be exactly where you left off. Right, your extensions, your applications, everything is back where you left off. But that provides not only this great stateless experience, but a personalized experience, right? It's the only type of device out there that can be as stateless and yet as fully personal as a Chromebook, which is actually really, really an interesting, unique combination of factors. And further to that, you get access to every one of your applications back. Right? They're pre-installed when you sign into any Chromebook, right? And the application maybe in this case, you can see there's the ability to run Linux, there's the ability to run, we already talked about the full largest mobile application ecosystem in the world. They may be Chrome apps, they may be PWAs or websites. You can even run now Windows applications through VDI solutions, server side, local. We also make sure that we sandbox every single application. This is a also very, very unique, right? Every application cannot modify anything that another application is doing. This is actually, if you remember how applications used to be installed into an operating system, they would be installed and there would be, you know, stuff left everywhere, stuff modified in the registry. And this is how operating systems, this is why you needed antivirus, why you still do on many operating systems, because the operating system can be modified, right? We do not allow that on a Chromebook. Um, Let's talk now briefly about the benefits to IT administrators for this, by having this modern operating system, this cloud-based operating system. So we talked a little bit about applications not trusting each other, but every layer doesn't trust the other layer, right? The way the firmware was designed, what the operating system can do, what the, what the applications or browser can do to the operating system, you know, spoiler alert, nothing. Um, what, how the applications interact with user data, we have done and for those of you that are in security, you'll know this concept called defense in depth. We've made sure that we add these layers so that if something is in a website tab, it would have to break out of the website tab, out of its sandbox, even get access to the next website next to it. Then the entire browser is sandboxed. Then the OS is sandboxed separately. So something would have to break four levels out to even modify the OS. And even if it does, during verified boot, we would notice that, right? And so you think about the levels that we've gone to so the benefit of having security engineers at the table when you're designing the operating system is they weren't just an afterthought of, oh, let's check have the security people look through this code. It's no, you tell us how we should design this from the start so that we won't have to deal with this, so that there will be no such thing as an antivirus running on a Chromebook. Another key thing that we did, again, the only operating system that launched from day one we required a TPM in every single Chromebook. And those of you that are in security will know what a TPM is, right? The trusted platform module It's super important. For us, we made sure that this was going to be important for protecting user data, for protecting the identity, for protecting the encryption keys, for protecting enrollment status, for protecting all of the key aspects. We made sure, passwords, of course, we made sure that every device had one. But one of the things that we ran into were with TPMs was we were beholden to the TPM manufacturers, right? We'd find vulnerabilities many times faster than anyone in TPM. We would notify them. We'd have to wait, et cetera. And we said, this is just too important. And so we literally designed our own Titan C chip 
And that is now what ships in every Chromebook. And it is the root of trust of so many of these things, what we call the nucleus of trust. And it's not only designed by us, but it's updated entirely by us, right? You get all of those other benefits of being able to update that type of C. I mentioned this briefly, but one of the other benefits of having a second dormant operating system on there is that the, op the second operating system can be updated while you're working and you don't even know about it, right? Gone are the days when it's, well, there's a new version. Uh, it's gonna take about 35 minutes. Please go take a long break. Um, that doesn't happen here. The operating system is updated in the background and when you reboot, you're now running the new version and most of the time the end users don't even know. That's how seamless it is. And this happens every six weeks, you just imagine. By the way, there's a little interesting tidbit that goes on. When you sign out of a Chromebook and you get back to the sign-in screen, right? It goes dark for a second and you're back to the login screen. If you have a new update that's ready, when we sign you out, we'll actually do a quick boot and take you back to the login screen. So that you actually, when you sign out and you get back to the login screen, you're actually running a new version of the operating system and the end user doesn't even know. It's actually a really interesting thing. Again, a combination of so many interesting things. Having two versions of the operating system plus a super fast boot uh, plus the updating in the background lets you do these kind of really magical experiences. There's no concept of imaging, right? There's no concept of what is the image that I have to set up here. It's for this set of users in this group or this organizational unit, what applications should they have? What network should they be connected to? What printer should they have? That's what you have to worry about. Just literally what policies do you want? And then you enroll the device and that's all you have to do. And rolling a device, which is our equivalent of imaging, um, is literally hitting Control-Alt-E and signing in uh, into your domain. That's it. It takes about four seconds on the device to permanently enroll it into your domain so that it works. You can track it, lost and stolen prevention, all of that. Of course, you have to be running the enterprise operating system that's on there so that you can get the OS features that are there, um, like kiosk mode and all those types of things that we talked about lost and stolen protection and all that is in there. Um, there's no antivirus to push in your image because there's no such thing, right, on a Chromebook as we talked about. And this is the console where you set all that up as we talked about. It's entirely cloud-based. You go to admin.google.com. Of course, you can also run your favorite EMM if you want. Um, and this is where you can push applications and do all of those things really, really easily. Thank you for bearing with me as we went through all of that. There was quite a lot. We covered how the operating system was built, why we architected it the way we did, what the benefits were to the end users, what the benefits were to um, IT admins. It's, it's a free trial to start it out. If you'd like to go try it, um, please see the URL here to go um, check it out for yourself. There's a great, if you are struggling with secure ways. Um, the reason people have been flocking to Chrome Enterprise uh, and are sold out in most places um, for remote work. There's a great remote work toolkit here that you can go look at. And of course, you can see the link there to contact um, your friendly local sales team. Uh, and I'm sure they can answer any questions you have. With that, I want to thank you again so much for taking the time today. Uh, and I hope um, you learned quite a bit uh, about this modern operating system. Thank you so much.